Adam and Wack, we're back, and you brought a friend with you. I mean, you know, I I had to bring one of my comrades, man. Yeah, you know Com- what I'm saying. Compton Rick Rock is in the building. Yeah, Compton Rick Rock. You know, that been my partner for many, 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 many moons. Really? How long have you guys known each other? Shh, 15, 16 years. Yeah, yeah. Some shit like that. Compton for many, many moons. Okay. You know, I, but see, you gotta understand, the world knows. Rick Rock, the guy that has fell in love with the camera, <clears throat> the craft of learning how to edit and shoot videos. I know another Rick Rock, so when I see that Rick Rock, it makes me happy because I know his ass is staying out of trouble. The Rick Rock I know is a is a real authentic Compton Crip. Uh. You know what I'm saying? The type of Compton Crip that'll walk in and it can be all his ops and, and he ain't going to wait. He going to let them know where he's from. And he gonna let them know. Let's get this out the way, uh. right? That's him, right? So I've, I've, I mean, I, I can remember time. Yo, you remember that time when we was running around the studios, and your crazy ass had that hat that said "Crip" oh, in, yeah. in 12, seven inch letters. So I'm walking in the studio, which is crazy. I think we were doing game sessions back then. Yeah, we, that was and this awesome. got a hat on that says "Crip" in big letters. So when we walk in, everybody's like, and they try to understand it. Uh-huh. And I keep telling people that. <clears throat> I'm not a gang banger. We all gang banged. And we didn't survive it with each other. So now it's about the culture. When I look at my Crips and, and my Bloods and Paw Rules, I see the West Coast. You understand what I'm saying? And I know what we could do. And it can't, it ain't got to be all of us. Cause it, that'll never happen. We had never all have the understanding because I remember when I was young and what my mentality was when it came to the so-called enemy, you know what I'm saying? And and I, and I understand that, and hopefully they can live long enough and go through some things and learn to understand that, first and foremost, we all men, we all black, and when you put in these situations in these county jails and these penitentiaries to where ain't no park, ain't no street signs, and shit is going on about your skin color, and you look up like I did and Three Finger Louie from Harlem Crips saved my life because I had an op in my blind and didn't see him, you 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 stop basing on where they from because he from where he from because that's where his mama, daddy, or grandmama somewhere raised him. We don't take no aptitude test to say based upon your score, we placing you here. And we all got the same struggles. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, we got a relationship that's been going on a long time and no matter what, that's my partner. You know, this motherfucker didn't did some he didn't have me in the middle of some storms because he's like me. He's going to do what he want to do when he want to do it. You know what I mean? He didn't have movements going on that's totally against my movement. Like what? Uh, he had a movement on. on uh, it's, it was Ain't No Bompton. Ooh. And he had music and the CD and on all his. So when you saying Ain't No Bompton to us, as Paul Rules, we saying we hear Ain't No Paul Rules in, 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 in Compton, right? He's a Compton Crip. They're not going to say Bompton, right? But it was crazy. He got real par rules over there. We, we, we was in a fire. Me, G, Weeder, we was in a fire. Yeah, Everybody like, yo, what's up with this? And who is it? Y'all f- with this? D-? But we know Rick Rock. You know what I'm saying? Rick Rock going to come outside for us. He going to jump in the car with us. He going to trust us like we trust him. So, you know, at the end of the day, I see what he's been trying to do. Um, I, I follow his YouTube page. And uh, he been doing his editing is crazy. You got to check him out. His editing is funny as fuck. He has a knack for going to find these movie clips that line up with shit he's talking about. And it just, it's just creative as shit. So to see my homeboy, you know, not on a goddamn video with a gun, uh, 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 squat down, but really having fun with this shit and making legal money with this shit, I can't do nothing but help my bro support and respect what he's doing. Okay. What do you, uh, what's your opinion on Wack? Oh, uh, you cool, Cap, man. Wack is one of them guys that um, he say what he say and mean what he mean, you know. Um, sometimes he do, uh, he's he's like Don King of this shit. Like, you ever want to study um, social media or any of this shit, Wack 100? Uh, I'm going to say a few names, too. Uh, it's a couple of more, but definitely Charleston White is one of them. Mm. You know, this platform, also No Jumper. Uh, it's, it's, if you want to learn how to work this internet shit, you got to study these guys. You got to study them. No, that's real. Yo, do you realize, bro, you the only platform that haven't really went commercial, but you are commercial. 
Really? Who went commercial? Academics, Spotify. True. Drink Champs, Revolt. Right. Uh, me and I'm with the game, Barstool. And Joe Button, I'm pretty sure he's with somebody. I don't think he's with anyone. Not, he was with Spotify. No, Joe was somebody. Not anymore. <clears throat> I believe he is. He's with Patreon. Right. I think Joe, well, he might have an investor. But you got to remember, but we got to remember, even him, when he started, him, act, he didn't been on a bunch of shows that was right. part of networks, right? No jumper, like you said. Right. You, you, you're the, you're the. Why is there a monkey in the room? You're the, you're <laughs> the. the uh, bring it over. That's, that's, that's what we had. Uh, bring, you're the, the end. Well, the, you're like the, <laughs> you're like the death row or the cash money. Y'all just be chilling with little baby monkeys now? What the f***? I need to get him with some incredible diapers. Yeah? There you go. Man, if a monkey... Oh, he really do got a diaper. <laughs> Yo, so you like the cash money or the or the death row of podcasts uh -huh. on the indie labels. Actually, I'm going to say cash money because they had that 80-20 deal out the gate, which was unheard of. I don't really feel like I need a corporate... Partnership. No, that that's what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't People really... that don't have that reach, right? Or the corporate. You don't want to get pooped on. Could look at what you're doing, right? And have some hope of starting up their own thing, cause you totally independent. Right. You got you got some good dudes running around here with vans and regular clothes who know how to work this these cameras and and do your editing, right? And then let's be real. You was authentic enough. What you was doing before, like the SoundCloud rappers, yeah. right? So you had dozens of them. Yeah. So your content was there. And who the f didn't want to come in and get on the camera to promote their shit? Right. Then you look up, and even your 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 your, your guests, your co-hosts, you got a you didn't pull a bunch of people from the streets. You have not went Hollywood. It's kind of crazy to me that you're actually complimenting me or praising me right now. I, for one, I thought Adam, we were past that. Adam, for one, <laughs> I wouldn't have never came and f***ed with you yeah. if your s*** wasn't solid. No, I appreciate it. Believe that, I wouldn't have. And, and, and this is... This we, is were supposed to, we were supposed to fight at one point. I would have never fought you. You're going to call the police. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is what I'm not fighting you. But you're calling the police. Yeah. But yeah. you used to have that story about like uh, lurking in the back parking lot. Oh, no, I was high. Yeah. I, I never knew about this that. That was a real mystery to he me when I found out about that. He was curbing the out of me. Right, right. Curb. That's when you was down on uh, Santa Monica. Yeah. That was a death trap alley. You, you know that. He had to come to the back to an alley to a back parking lot. Yeah, there'd be that's home, homeless kind of guys shit. jerking off in there. We don't give. A that's our kind of shit. Right. We dress up like the homeless guy. Really? Yeah. And when jerk we got off. Mad. Nah, <laughs> Stay I mean, in character. Know, it's <laughs> right here. So, but on some real shit. <clears throat> Even myself, like you always reach. You reach to the underdog, but you understand the underdogs is who these people want to hear. But you know what he didn't reach to? Red oh. Rock, man. Did I he have to, reach to you? I used to DM him all the time. He, he had read them. Oh, Nigga right. DM'd him. Yeah. I was texting and calling him. He was yeah. not fucking with me. I think the first time I brought Blueface up top. Mm -hmm. when we went up top. That's kind of when we... we no, met. that's when you we, the problem started because you guys were talking all crazy about Nipsey and then fucking but we, everybody we got see, mad about it and it was this whole thing on. and then you blame me because people were on your ass for it. This was pre-Clubhouse. I never blame nobody. You know, I never talk crazy about Nipsey. I challenge anybody to show me a clip where I talk crazy. Now remember... I mean, within reason. No, because... Compared to listen, how everybody else in LA was you know, talking about Nipsey but, at the time, well, you were talking crazy. But see, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not the sheep. Right. If we talking music, right? If we talking anything to where I'm going to go on stats, <clears throat> fuck my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. It's some artists that I don't listen to their music. I think it's some weird music. But if you ask me about them, I'm going to contribute their success to what their numbers doing. It's always business with me with music. I ain't a fucking rapper. So I'm not battling bars with nobody. I'm not song for song. I don't rap. Right. I'm in the business of rap. So... When you when they asked me, TMZ, they simply asked me a question. Did I feel like he was a legend in music? I got that video, man. Yeah, okay, right? I and I told him the truth. See, this at and I told him at the Biggie Smalls at the time of his demise was not a legend in music. He became one. People started sampling this shit. Movies was made. Pac, when he died at 24, 25, was a legend in music. 
Let's look at his body of work. He had the first double CD ever to come out, go 10 times platinum. He had four, five big motion pictures. So I'm, I'm going to talk about the body of work. So for us to call Nip at that time, at that time, right. a legend, okay, then what the fuck are we going to call Dre? What are we going to call Cube? What are we going to call all these motherfuckers who got... 20, 30, 40, 50 million sales who then toured for the last 15, 20 years. What do we call them? We call them gods? But don't you think the fact that Nipsey's name is still in conversation constantly and brought up music. constantly and Hold on, you know Adam, his music Adam, has become a lot more legendary Adam, since listen, he passed. And I said within time, right? I think he'll get there. For sure there's going to be a, a docu-series or a movie coming. Oh, I can't right? believe I haven't done that yet. That, that's going to come. I know personally... It's about 80 unreleased songs. Now, why in the fuck every year on his anniversary, they not releasing these songs and opening them up and getting current people to drop verses with their do for free? Out of respect, I don't know, mm. right? I don't know who's working that in. You know, maybe they saving the music for the movie or whatever it is they're going to do, right? Mm -hmm. Do I think he's going to get there? I think like a biggie, he will get there. But at the time of his demise... Right? Mm -hmm. For music. <clears throat> I'm not speaking on who he was to his hood, to his family, because I can't. I'm not from his hood. I'm not part of his family. But when we talking music, I can break the numbers. <clears throat> if I ask you right now, is community a top 10 platform? And I argue with you, you're going to go to them motherfucking numbers and say, this is why. Uh huh. Because that's the only thing that that kills the conversation. Because your opinion to my opinion, I could be like, fuck that, nigga. I, them the homies. And you're like, whack, you talking to them your homies. But we're talking what's top 10, and top 10 is dictated and based on the traffic, the views, so on and so forth. But saying top 10 is a little different than saying legend. Because legend is more wide. It's the same shit. You're going to prove me right or wrong based on what those numbers are doing. Uh -huh. Right? And once again... These niggas in the streets always want to stop at that legend. Wax spoke on legend and music. Mm -hmm. Now, I personally feel it's three, four songs, right, that should have went. And these fake-ass DJs who was doing the Nipsey Hour when they wouldn't spin this nigga song one time while he was alive. Last time I checked is a hit. Bullets ain't got no name. Let's not forget it's Paul Rules that assisted this man on getting his first deal. Let's not forget this shit. It's a Paul Rule in front of you who took him to New York radio where niggas couldn't get New York radio and put him on Hot 97, Shade 45, and made sure all this shit was getting spun in the clubs. See, none of these niggas was around. It was Wack 100 and DJ K Slay. My memory of it was just you and Blueface sitting side by side, and we're having this conversation, and Blueface is just loudly eating pretzels into the microphone yeah. while we're talking about Nipsey. And I remember being very, very confused, and then people had to kind of fill in the Watch blanks. this, bro. Blueface right down today. He's underestimated. He got more plaques than Nipsey mm. right now. But he ain't no motherfucking legend in music. Man still got it. He got some work to put in. He's a legend in entertainment overall, I would say. Well, well you know, he's done more things. He's he's good. He's in the boxing, you know, field. He's doing TV now. He's working to get there. Right. But at this point in time, he's not a legend. He's a work in progress and and he's very active in what he's doing. At this right now, I just launched a diaper company. My diaper company, as it stands, the evaluation is not where it's going to be five five years from now. Well, after you got a successful diaper company, I got one that I'm launching. I can't call it that. Do I believe in my product? Yes. Do I got contracts with Amazon? Yes. I got $150 million contracts. That's my business partner out there with the Middle East to distribute throughout the Middle East with the royal family of fucking Bahrain. Much respect but, for the diapers. But, oh, that's your diaper business partner out there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, He's from okay. the embassy. Okay. He work at the embassy. I was wondering See, why my you were me to this and guy. my friends is different. You don't need a whole lot of motherfuckers no more. Okay. That get a nigga to Rico. You just need the right friends. My five friends got another five friends, and they five friends got another five friends, and they all do everything that I need them to do to operate in the world. Uh -huh. I ain't operating in the hood. I'm operating in the world. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? I so that that's what that is. So I mean, I think people get butt hurt and they feel like, well, you just supposed to go with the flow. And, and another thing, I spoke on the whole movement. I know where that movement come from. What movement? That mo- the, the the movement of, of Nipsey's death. Uh. <clears throat> it did not come from him getting killed. Hold on, because that was some basic shit that happened in all our hoods when some internal shit going on, right? That movement started when Big U went on his social media and told Crips, Bloods, his enemies, whoever it was, meet me on Crenshaw and Slauson, and we gonna march in the name of my homeboy on a peace walk. Now this peace walk, he called it on H-Ray Gangsters and Hoovers and Black Peace Stones like niggas, right? When the peace walk happened, now you got the Nation of Islam there. You got the cameras there. You got gangs for 40 years that been beefing here. That shit is went viral, but it was in the name of Nipsey. And even though me and that man don't speak today, they don't give him his credit. That is what sent that situation viral. He wouldn't have did that. It would have been a local neighborhood chatter of what a nigga homie allegedly supposed to did to a motherfucking rapper, a local rapper that was on up and coming. That's what it would have been. And people don't think about that. Now, was the movement, the propaganda, the movement bigger of the real genuine support? Yes, it was. Why? Let's break it down. Nip dropped. He did 50,000 copies his first week, right? His demise come a year later, right? The man is murdered, right? Mm -hmm. It took a year after his demise for the album to go platinum. Now, let's look at the propaganda of the movement, the blast that we saw. Everywhere you saw was the marathon continues. This, this, this. If that shit was translated for what it was, that man would have been five, ten times platinum the first week. But these motherfuckers was something to talk about. Everybody is excited about this, so I'm going to post it. I'm going to play the Nipsey Hour, bitch-ass, DJ-ass, weird-ass niggas. Why y'all wasn't playing him when he was alive? The same songs you playing, these niggas couldn't play two minutes of a song when he was alive, but they find enough songs to have 60 minutes of Nipsey after he did. They told me that uh, nobody in New York would play Tupac on the radio, and then he died, and they started playing him all the time. That's why Biggie was on or something. Mm. You know by just somebody kills you. DJ K. Slay, only motherfucker like him. He's the only one had a DJ slot where he could play whatever music he wanted to play. He was in tune with the streets. A regular dude could walk up. He would spin his shit. If it wasn't for Slay, the Nas record, Ether, wouldn't have came out. They blackballed him, had him blocked in. Jay-Z had the game in the hand lock. They wasn't going to play it. Slay said, fuck that. This hip-hop. We spinning this shit. A week ago, in front of his projects in his building, in East River, they gave him a sign with his name on it. Okay, Slay. Now, since since he's been he's been dead going on a year, right? Uh-huh. Probably longer than that. He, right? he has it. Yeah, he died in twenty. Um, I was out. It was early in COVID. Like no, he died in twenty. Right? No, 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 no. Twenty twenty two or some twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two. Right. Mm-hmm. But here goes this thing. Right. They weren't thinking about getting him a sign while he was alive. Well, they it have, was no more accomplishments after death. They're never going to give you a fucking memorial where you're We need alive. to change that. Do you not think that right, the person that you're giving the, the flowers to need to see that? I think it's a lot harder to really see somebody's accomplishments in its entirety while they're still alive. That's crazy. I mean, it would be good to... That's nuts. Would, like, we're not going to give Jack Harlow a statue right now. Well, that's some He's white still young. Shit. I don't know. You okay, we're not going to give Playboy Look, Cardi a statue Jack, don't, You compare Jack Harlow <laughs> to motherfucking K. Slade okay. and shit like that. I'm just saying, who the fuck gets a statue while they're still alive? Uh, Bill Cosby. You know how they say... Did, did and they, then they, wait, wait. They tore him down they, for him, right? They tore him down. Yeah. And then he beat the shit, and they put him back up. I don't know if he beat it. What you mean? He came on. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't think anybody thinks he's guilty. He ain't guilty. What are you guilty of? Not guilty. Fucking some bitches. 
They all getting high? Incapacitated. No, no, that shit was recreational drugs back then. Well, they thought he was drugging them. No, he wasn't drugging shit. Well, I think the standards have kind of changed now. Everybody, you get high. Were you giving girls Spanish fly when you were a young man? No, I don't do drugs, but I do know this. I don't know if Bill Cosby did drugs either. He was just giving them to the bitches. women today say, we finna go to the moat. Y'all got the e-pills? Well, that's a very different drug. It's a sex drug, right? But it's not the same as GHB. But what GHB you makes you pass out. Man, get the fuck out of here. Them niggas was doing cocaine, quaaludes, and shit like you that. You definitely sound like somebody who's never done cocaine. Because no, that's what they was doing. Cocaine do and ecstasy versus GHB, very different experience. What is GHB? It's the date rape drug. I don't even think that shit existed back then. Yeah, it did, for sure. Fuck no. You should try it. Well, it's what a good the time. fuck Charles Manson do, white boy? What Since do you, you want to put emphasis on the brother? He brainwashed a bunch Manson of cult do? members and had Jeffrey them kill Dimer people do. for him. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we throw a few of your motherfuckers. Yeah, we don't white put statues up for Charles there. Manson either. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we throw them up in there. But y'all do movies for Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm glad they showed They're the brother. They're not like glorifying Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm glad they Jeffrey showed the black man beating his motherfucking brains in in, in, the, in the penitentiary. Did they? I didn't finish that. That was the highlight of the whole shit. Right. I, you know, I brought him to Clubhouse. Jeffrey Dahmer? No, the dude that killed him. <laughs> <laughs> the dude that killed him and his son. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. So, okay, my, my recollection of Rick Rock, I don't know if you caught what he was saying earlier, but I, I do remember you tapping in a while back, but then a couple, maybe a month or two ago, I'm looking through Instagram, and I see that you posted up a picture of me dragging me. Yeah. Trying to get your attention. And I didn't really, I didn't. Really, I don't really remember what you said or what, what was you, it about. You got, you got in your feelings? No. Motherfucker. This I didn't really is, think about it again until now. the club. I, what you call it? The clubhouse street, wait, the YouTube streets. YouTube I gotta streets, start man. using that shit. But let, let's break shit. it down. Why did you uh, do All that? Right, post? So let's, let's get to it. Let's get straight to it. Um, when AD left, no jumper. Of course, of course, I'm gonna take the Compton side. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the homies. But this was many months but, after that. But was it? And then another thing, another issue with the whole no jumper show period. I feel like most of the time when you got street dudes that come on here. It's like it seems like none of the questions never really pertains to they craft or what they do. It yeah. also lingers back to the streets. But this is what goes on on YouTube. It, whether it's spit here or the YouTube dudes bring it to the uh, to the internet. I mean, the, the street dudes bring it to the internet. Okay, so I feel like most of the time when it's spoken here, some of the things shouldn't be spoken here. They have the option to not even get on the microphone. Period. But it's like one time for like instance when Snoopy Badass was here, and they brung up Wacko from Westside, and I felt Who like did that? it was it was either Adam or Brick Baby. Yeah, but see, I didn't bring him up. But when that yeah, name, but, 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 I didn't but, but, see. Bro, don't play the, but, the but, internet but when, shit. But when that name was brought yeah, up, that's crazy. And they was playing with that man's name. I'm like, homie, that's I didn't see that. Like, yeah, I didn't see that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see that. So and Snoopy, Snoopy said something about him. I didn't. I didn't even know what they were talking about. But when it was brung up, I felt like that shit could have went to the streets. You know no, ain't no like, coulda, woulda have already did. Yeah, so I'm like, that, that, he that been ran crazy. already by playing, by playing with that. Well, I mean, that's not like a question that we asked him. That was just something that he randomly said himself. But I was trying to figure out, like, how did that name even come up? Like, who put that to I, even been? I'm not up? sure. Well, you know what? They don't know him to bring that name up. Right. So right. that was the that busted nigga doing that shit. Right. Right. That was him right. doing that. You know, he's selling his feelings about his his little bathroom. But you know, you know what? You know what's situation. crazy though. You know what's crazy? Like I know a lot of people. Like I'm cool with Whack. I'm cool with this guy. I'm cool with this guy. So when I hear everybody talk about each other, they be calling me like Rock, and I be like, Look, I can't take no signs and none of this because I fuck with Whack. I fuck with him. I fuck yeah. with him. And whatever personal business that these guys have amongst each other, I try to like just be neutral to everybody. Yeah, you got some weirdos you, know what you what fuck with. Who? Oh. You know, you got some weirdos you fuck with. That know damn well some of the shit they've been saying, they would never say if they seen this man. It's real shit. Why do I? You saying I know people who've been talking shit about Rick Rock? I mean, you probably don't know because you ain't paying no attention to it, but you definitely know. You got a few weirdos to be on your show that they would never. And you know what's crazy? They know the truth. Niggas ain't got visits and all kind of shit at their little twenty nine ninety nine hotel. Man. Say their name, man. Right? Yeah. Crip Mac, one of them. What about him? Right? Saying shit about Rock. Knowing, oh yeah, because you guys used to be doing skits together. Yeah, all that. Rock, look, that. If he would have stayed with Rock, he wouldn't have went to jail. Were you like managing him or something at some point? Well, everybody at the beginning, everybody was telling me like my homeboy Ray was like, "You need to manage him, putting paperwork on him." I'm like, "I ain't putting no paperwork. We gonna just make this comedy shit." Because yeah. when I met Crip Mag, he was on the internet disrespecting other gang members, right? Mm -hmm. And I seen he had talent, so. When he came to my house with this chick named Rennie Lowe, that's my first time meeting him. I never, 
I just seen him on the internet, you know, doing the disrespectful shit. So when I did my first skit with him, I looked at it when I was editing. I'm like, man, this dude really got a talent for this shit. So I brought him into the skit world. I told him, like, look, homie, we're going to do all the comedy shit. Fuck the game banging shit. So when I called him, even when he disrespected his enemies in the video, it was my job to edit that shit out. I never let none of the disrespect because it was all about the comedy. Mm. And then when he went to jail, uh, it was a time that I was going through my own situations and shit. And um, he asked me to send him some money when he was in there and I wasn't in position at that time because I had a whole lot of shit going on. But I did tell him I was going to do something for him and didn't live up on my obligation to doing something for him. But when he was in the county, one of my young homies was in there with him. I told him, look out for cuz, make sure he's straight, make, make sure nobody rush him and all that. But when he came home, I seen him doing- That's worth more than $50, nigga. Right, right. So I seen him when he, when he was on the internet doing dumb shit, doing dumb moves. So I used to do my little videos, like basically, man, watch how you move. And he got on the internet and went on one and said some shit. And I was like, all right, nigga, what's on then? Fuck it, I brought you into this shit. I'm going to take you out this Oh, way. okay. I think I remember this. He was trashing Rick Rock at a certain point. Right. Some right. Little yeah, videos. He, but, but he know better than he that. Know, he know, know. Like, see, my thing is like, like, some shit you know. Because it be real events that went on, real visits that went on, that niggas really like, Show the nigga what it could have been, but because he a G, he just, you know, I'm letting you know what it could have been. I'm not doing that, but let's just have a conversation, right? You know, he know. When the motherfucker didn't, didn't tapped on your little twenty nine ninety nine little hotel, motel room. You pulled up to his spot? Um, he was supposed to do a skit. He was supposed to do a drop for somebody. You like know, and, 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 and this is nothing personal. Uh -huh. I love Crip Mac. Yeah, I got love for him. I, it ain't nothing personal, but it's when you cross certain boundaries, you know better, like, I, I couldn't find myself just slapping the shit out of him because <laughs> it wouldn't look right on. I know I could whoop his ass, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't, I, I don't on wanna be a, I wouldn't want to be a bully when it came to that. But he uh, posted did something for somebody, and he took forever to do it. They gave him $500. I never asked him for a dime out of it. I just did it because I had the resource to connect the two guys together. And when he didn't live up to his obligation, I called him on it. I said, hey, Mac, what's up with that, that, that drop you're supposed to do for these people? They on me about it. He like, cuz, I'm going to get to it when I get to it. You on some weirdo shit. And when he said that, yeah, I different. pulled up to the room. I walked up yeah. in there, and I told him I'll slap the shit out your motherfucking ass. You ever disrespect me again? He pulled his money out like if I was robbing him or something. Like, what you need? So I'm like, nigga, I don't need your money. Just handle your business with these people because you're making me look bad. But I never put that out to the universe. I kept that. You know, I even got the recording of this shit. Because, you know, <laughs> yeah, well, well, I, I'm not about that type of dude. When we say the, we the, got the, it, you know, we got it. Blast, oh, you so know you, know you seen this? I knew it, because when he did it, he let me know he did it. I do shit, I let him know I did, because you know why? We get calls. He, he, gonna, he gonna get calls, about Everybody know, people see the people I support. Rock ain't never asked me to post nothing. But they look up and they be like, yo, the nigga Wack all way in there, call him. He be like, nigga, that's my nigga, man. Whack, I ain't gotta ask Wack to do that. He gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? If he tripping out too much, can't too many niggas call us. We can call us, hey nigga. You tripping. Slow down. Mm. We gonna listen to us because we both know we burnt out. See, we'll respect another motherfucker like us because he's seeing something that, okay, nigga, maybe I'm, I'm I'm losing focus. Let me check myself. That's out of love. We don't hear a or a crip telling us what to do. I hear my comrade, my brother, like, hey, nigga, you tripping. Slow down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially right, right. me. He be on me because he like, nigga, you in a position and you finna go somewhere else. How long is it going to be before somebody get in that position of we got access to? And I got to remember that. Like, he right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. I'm still out here with the mud of it. They can get to me. Come to the studio. Rock, tell them. That motherfucker is every gang. Come to the studio, pull up. What is it? What can I do for you? They can get to me. Whack, we trying to talk. Can you get my music to Birdman? Can you get it to here? QCP. And I sent it, and they're going to listen to it because it's coming from me. So when I start getting too far out there in the water, right, my homeboy's going to call me, and they're going to they gonna tell me, nigga, you tripping, slow down. But so n nothing really came of the Crip Max situation? You, you didn't really um, have the heart to keep it going? Well, it wasn't that, that I didn't have the heart to keep it going. Not it's, the heart like that, but you didn't want to It's his people. See, when I had him, we was going somewhere. And then and when his, I guess when he was supposed to fight, supposed to fight Blueface— and when last time we came on No Jumper, and he said that me and Coach Warren, Coach Warren is one of the most solidest dudes from that whole circle. He's not a, 
he he's solid. He try to stay out the scene. He don't try to get in the dude way it. But everybody else, they suckers, man. They suckers, and they got between me and his business. I had the studio for No Custer's podcast. I had that already lined up, paying the rent on the motherfucker. His homie stopped him from coming. Odin, Odin, what's his name? Odin, H.M. Slim, old dope head. The dope fiend nigga. <laughs> um, he was hooky. He, he was. I had oh, the studio shit. set up for him, right? Woodchuck mouth. What up, Gigi? How you doing? Yeah. Nice to see you. Them suckers pulled him away from me. You know what I'm saying? But we was already going. I, Snoop Dogg and them in the studio laughing at the skits me and him doing. But once they seen us going, they pushed him. I still got the video when me and Papa Z Films went to his hood, pulled up. Man, I pulled up by myself. He came. His homies didn't even want to be in the video. They was turning their back because at this time, this one, he was really on this, you know, the dumb shit. So um, I got the videos where his homies didn't even want to be in the video. But when he started getting more popular with the comedy and all that that's shit, how I go. that's when they snatched him. And I should have put some paper. Odium on Slim. Name. Listen, it no, was two comp His name is O.D. O. Dope. Head Whatever that nigga is. <laughs> <laughs> it was two comp Rock and Big Bruce. Yeah. Big Bruce called me with Crib Mac. He said, Wack, listen, man, this fight, can we get Crib Mac on it? It was my fight. I said, yeah, we can. I said, you with him? I said, because I know Rick Rock fucking with him. He like, we fucking with him, right? He said, I ain't talked to Rock. I said, he said, but I could pull up on him. I said, great, cool. Remember Big Bruce? We was in, in, in Central with the homie, right? So I said, all right. He said, what, what, what could you do for him? I said, man, nigga ain't, he, you know, he doing his little thing. You know, he probably worked 20, 30,000 or something. I said, but let me, let me, let me look out for him. I double back, get him a hundred. On the strength of the people he was associated to. Why would he not do the fight if he was going to make a hundred grand? I'm going to tell you. This motherfucker him needs a hundred grand. Let's have him a hundred. On the strength of the two people he was associated with. Because I'm, I'm not worried about it now. Rock over there, Bruce over there. They're going to they gonna make sure we get to his training. They're going to make sure we straight, keep him out of trouble. We cool. was training him. Right? It's real shit. Right? So I'm going to see him with a hundred. How I'm going to see him with a hundred? I'm pulling out of my end because I know that Hunter's going to make sure my niggas get straight. Ain't no way he can't straighten them when he know all you should have saw was a quarter. So you could hit my two niggas off. Fuck what I'm going to do for him regardless, right? Because of the bag I done gave him. He go to jail, mm. right? No, no, no. Before he go to jail, he was at the hotel room making a whole lot of fucking noise. Yeah, I got yeah. a call. Yeah, yeah, Your yeah. boy up here making noise. So I go up to the, to the room. I say, look, homie. You up here making all this motherfucking noise. Everybody know your voice. Calm that shit down. The motherfucker didn't listen. Another time, when he moved to Paramount around the corner from me, I get a call from the guy that he got the CME contract with. Yeah. And, and this this one, 600 first came around. I, I never knew. Six, 600 called me too. Like, hey, is it okay for Crip Mac to come stay with you because he already hot? The people around here, we getting calls that he live in Paramount. I say, come over here. It's all good. Fuck it. But he was scared to come move his ass up in the house with me because he know. He, he, he couldn't do that dumb shit. We was going to either work, we was going to keep it professional. It wasn't no disrespecting these gangs because, like, hey, homie, I'm really out here. Like, I couldn't even take him to certain places because I didn't want to have to be responsible if it was time to get cracking, your motherfucking ass run out because you ain't really like that. Yeah, I brought yeah, him to my hood. He tried to play me one time, like, hey, can we go to your hood? So I called Nutty Ray up. He got all the homies together, you know what I'm saying, and we made sure that he was secure, he was straight. But, he, you know, them dudes is busters, man. Them dudes ain't really like that. Man. So, look, wait, long story short, he go to jail, right? So I'm in Miami. Now I'm in South Beach. I'm minding my business. Bro called me. Whack, nigga went to jail. Who? Mm -hmm. Crip Mac. I said, okay. I said, he said, Whack, think the nigga out on the, the bail, double bail. I get right on the phone, call my bail bondsman, right? Bro said, I think the mom want to talk to you. I said, we ain't got to do that. We can just get right to him. Call the bondsman. The bondsman say, Whack, the nigga out on the double bail. I said, he said, you might have to put us some property. This is a Paul Roo saying this. I can show you on my phone. I said, bro, whatever it take, go get him. I got business with that man. And Rock calling me. Rock calling me. If he calling me like, Wack, is there anything you could do? Well, you know I could do. Fuck it. We're going to move him. Now, I'm going to be real. If I'm sitting in that L.A. County jail and a motherfucker tell me a crip is putting forth effort to come get me, I don't have nothing to say about that man. Next thing I know, this O.D., what's it, O.D.H.M. No, old dope head motherfucker Slim. <laughs> that nigga, yeah. O.D.H.M., whatever motherfucker yeah. the order is in, 
He didn't got on the phone. I don't even know this dude. When I'm dealing with Crip Mac, it's Bruce and Rick Rock. He didn't told this motherfucker, oh, this nigga whack clout chasing off your name. Whoopty whoopty whoop. Crip Mac, he in jail. He ain't know. He going what he's saying. Crip Mac, oh, fuck whack 100. He's a custard. I'm going to fuck his wife. Mm. It go out. Rock see it. Rock don't have to call me about that. He already know what's going on at that point. He scratching his head because he like. Nigga, we tried to get you out. We trying to get you out. My man said, whack, he got a hold. They going to drop it five to ten days. We going to our belly on your profile. Cool. I went back to what I was doing in South Beach. And that's how he lost the fight. That's a shame because that would have been the fight. Bro, now what I wanted to do Blue with face it. Crit, Mac, it doesn't it get much better than that no, in it, terms it of L.A. It would have changed his whole career. Younger dudes so what fighting. I wanted yeah, to that do, would be if, it. if he would have just stuck. To the yeah. fucking comp. Now they got him over there looking like he a motherfucking, like he in a convalescent home, like he's a, 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 a patient. You know what I'm saying? Walking him around. I'm like, look at this dumb ass shit, man. They working him like a rib, homie. Like, this motherfucker. Now, man, what I shit. wanted to do, I told you and Bruce, I said, look, I don't want to have nothing to do with his music, but I want to put him in a contract to be a comedian. Y'all don't like the music? No, he's not just ain't my shit. Right? <laughs> right? You got a good I, voice. I wanted to put him in the cotton to be a comedian. He just needs a little I bit of help. I was gonna reach the out bars, to Nick bro. Cannon, attempt to get him on Wild and Out. Oh my god. And then I was gonna reach idea. out to all my niggas, DC Young Fly, Country Wayne, you know, Jess Hilarious. I was gonna tell all the, the comedians I know I'm managing this man whenever y'all going out. If it's a slot and I could get him on it. Cool. We could have got him a few little writers to help him on his the little fill-ins and then let him do him. Cause he's the only motherfucker like him that have been on that stage. Right? He it would have went. I wanted to manage him as a comedian. Mm-hmm. I told Bro them. I said, bro, this is what I want to do. We get him in a fight, we use the fight, and we spin off and shoot him straight there. Whatever y'all do with him with the music ain't my business. If y'all need my help on some distribution to cool, it's love. And this Crackhead nigga got in his ear jealous. I fucked it up, man. Oh, they trying to take my homie. It's all Slims for old dope head. Yeah, it's him. Slim, because Crip Mac honestly is in jail listening to this dude. Crip Mac can tell you he ain't never heard us say nothing. He's going on what other niggas are saying. It, this shit would have changed his life, and you know it. Yeah. We had to, uh, we were supposed to do a short film. It was going to be called No Custers. That was the whole mission. Like, we was about to take this shit to a whole nother level, but his homies got in the way, fucked everything up. Group A, old dope him, motherfucking Slim. They fucked up the whole shit, man. But you know what, man? It ain't nothing personal, homie. It's, life goes on. I watch him over there with his caretaker. It's, 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 it's looking bad now. It's, it's all fucked up. Bro, I, I got to give you a lot of, um, because you asked me. He created the motherfucking no, no, monster. No, no, he asked me, <laughs> yo, whack. If Crip Mac get out, you think if I brought him up here as one of the hosts, it'll work. I told him I think it's, I think he missed his boat. When people was on him, he was hot. He kept going to jail. It's over with. You still believed in him and put him up here. Right. So he really need to. It, listen, the day he disrespects you, I think at that point everybody going to be like, nigga, you just got a mental problem. But I will say this about mm-hmm. the motherfucker. He funny as when fuck. When it comes to feeding the homeless and shit, like, that's, that shit not scripted. Like, he really fuck with that. Like, I remember one time we went to go feed the homeless and the, and the guy asked him for a blanket. And he was like, motherfucker, I'll bring it tomorrow. Now, I thought he was just doing it for the camera. I called him like 5 o'clock the next morning. That motherfucker was down there passing out blankets. Like, he don't do that. That's like for real. That's real shit he do. Mm. Uh, he, he, he probably, he you do got a good heart. Yeah, but he he, probably it's just the people that. that's around him, it's they, fucking they lead him in the wrong direction. He do got a good heart. He's not a bad person. It's just that he got this want to be accepted shit. Like if he ever I said Crip Mac, if you take that shit off your forehead, do you know it's over with? You gonna go straight to the top? He won't listen. You really think he should do that though? I, if I was his homeboys, we would have changed his motherfucking ass up. We would have broken one of them places with them tattoo lasers, got that shit off his motherfucking head, woke his ass up, get your, get go to work. Right. We would have made, listen, my homies, we would nigga, you fit to take that shit up off your motherfucking. You ain't putting no work in any motherfucking way. Okay, but if he did that, you think that everybody in L.A. would view Snoop him? Snoop Dogg would fuck with him if he took that off his. You think that's the thing that's keeping Snoop in front of him? A lot I know for a fact yeah. that's why Snoop ain't. A lot really. of people, yeah, yeah, because for them to make him bigger, they Snoop making Dog, that movement Snoop, bigger. Snoop like him? Snoop like the dude, but he can't fuck with him because of the fucking bullshit. Right. That's, that's the only reason why. Yeah. yeah. 
you know. That's why everybody's always been kind of blown away by that forehead tattoo. <laughs> just well, when them Hoovers catch his ass, they gonna. He just ain't been caught. Yeah. He be, you know, he, he get caught. He gonna hit everybody. Every dog had a day. We didn't all had our day. Yet some of us is bigger dogs, and it wasn't our day. He ain't. He ain't like that. You think the Hoovers are worried about that, or you think it's just kind of nah? No, they I, just, I, they, I think today's time to keep it one hundred. He's more of a. It's like a character now. When, yeah. some, when, they, when the right one's seeing, they're going to probably kick him in his ass. I don't think they're going to do nothing drastic to him. They're just going to just put their foot up his ass, probably slap him around. But as far as them trying to take him out the game, you, some might. But I don't think it's that. Everybody knows he's a, he's, he's a, he's a character, man. I'm going to be real, Rock. If he start getting big, that's going to be a problem. He still does. Like, I'm going to be real. It's probably a good thing. He did some weird shit with me, because mm-hmm. I was gonna make him big. When I seen him with the guy up here, like I was they, gonna make the nigga big, dude, Tony. Tony, the I, gay crip. Yeah, it's no yeah, such thing as a gay crip. Yeah, but when I seen him up crib. here with the guy, if this is your job description, if it was my job description, they asked me, Rock, would you do an interview with a gay guy? I don't have no problem with that because I don't have nothing against yeah. him. But when it's gay one crip. claiming to be. It's no such I wouldn't thing. have did it. Hold on, hold on. It's no such thing as a gay crip. But right. what I will say this is, if it was presented to me even five minutes before the show even started, I would have declined it for the simple fact is they wouldn't want nobody playing with their community. And as far as the crip community, I think that's, that's even if it was any gang member, a gay guy saying he was a gang member, that's not no, even. So let me, let me correct that. it. We're saying openly gay. Right. Just some gay gang. gang members. Yeah, but so you uh, know about all the sneaky ones. No, I don't know about them, but we know we we know what they we know they in there. You got sneaky. You got yeah, sneaky. We know you they got, in there. You got, you got, got some bandit you, homies. You got on people. both sides. <laughs> you got. You know you know Everybody's smiling <laughs> in the room. Got, got, everybody got, knows about something. That. You do we got have some bandit homies. You do But we talk about openly. Right. These guys that sneak. And we was on the penitentiary yard. I did fourteen years there, and if it was a homie that we knew was fucking around. And it got to us, we fit the boot his ass up out of here. Point blank period. You know what I'm saying? But you got this guy coming up here, and they having a crib mac pull a sandwich out and gave uh, it. You know, yo, dude crazy. talking about, did you get a put on or a fuck on? He like, batting we don't his play eyes like that. at him. Like that, that, that's a game that can't hey, be played with. You know what I'm saying? As like, a Damu, I'm mad. If you would have asked me to interview this dude, I wouldn't have did so it. So when I did my Playing thing, let me, let me clear something up too. When I did my thing, I said, I got on Crip Mac and Brick Baby. You know, at the same time, me trolling. At the same oh. time, that's what we all do. We get on this motherfucker and have fun. I don't, once I turn that computer off and go outside, I don't think about none of this shit that's on the internet, right? So when I got at the when I got him about this shit, I was trolling with him, right? So I said, Crip Mac, you gotta take that Crip off your name. Uh. They put it on the internet, as Rick Rock said. They couldn't, some weird shit. Then it was videos, Rick Rock versus the Neighborhood Crips. And Rick Rock got homies from Neighborhood Crips. Rick Rock got love for Neighborhood Crips. You know what I'm saying? It was a bro, sucker. Bro, wait, wait, bro. You it. said this ain't got nothing to do with where you from. Take that I'm crip talking about the word Crip. Yeah. Wherever you from is where you from. I can't put you off of that. But you going to take Crip off your name. That's what it you make said, a, It so. make us all look, it make us all look kind of a certain way to the rest of the world that don't understand what the fuck. It's a lot of it's a lot of crazy shit on the West Coast. And it's a lot of LA guys, Compton guys. It's a lot of all of us that have a presence on this YouTube. So when they see this shit, they all over the place like what the hell is going on. So it's kind of like a bad luck. If you ran into Tony, what would you do? If I ran into Tony, I I I'd go the other way. It's nothing for me to talk about. Okay. As, as tr- crip business and with him we don't have shit to Who talk about. What the fuck about. is Tony? The gay huh? crip. But as a person, I mean, do alleged, I feel a, do I feel crit. some type of way by what he, you know, I don't have no problem with you being gay, homie. Like that don't got nothing to do. With that's that's your preference, the way you want to live. I don't. I have a, I have a gay cousin. I shot his music videos. Yeah. I don't have nothing against. Got nothing that. to do with the community. But once you get to talking gang stuff, right? That's that's an overlap shit, that nobody's willing to go it's through. It's too serious. Yeah. I got homies that died for this. My brother died for this. I got my best friend CeeLo for my neighbor. It's I have homies that's rest in peace. Behind this shit, you know what I'm saying? For a motherfucker to get on here and play with it, like it's too much playing. It just ain't the right people didn't got a hold to their ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, a lot of these dudes, homies, they look at it like this is our meal ticket up out this shit, so we gonna accept it. But where I come from, certain shit ain't nobody above the law. Anybody, you fuck up, 
you going to get it. But what you do after that, that's on you. But you going to get what you got coming. But to be fair, I don't think Tony was – Playing, he wasn't really trolling. Like in Texas, it seems like that really is accepted, well, don't have or at least where he's. Don't have nah, because a lot, a lot of them dudes in Texas, uh, Max O'Neal, Max O wasn't feeling it. We asked shit. him about it. You know what I mean? Uh, Sauce Walker, them don't know nothing about that shit. I, I don't, I'm gonna be real, and I'm just talking business. The move he made for himself, genius. He's brand, but they was not supposed to allow him to prostitute, the cripping, exploit. To get all to do that, they let him exploit it. He won, cause whether he plans fake serious, whatever he is, now people know him as that. Somebody else gonna pull him, do an interview, and Lord forbid if he go do a gimmick song and drop some shit, or uh, one of these other motherfucking artists throw him in a video, or Charleston White go over there and do some shit with him. All this is contrib- that no West Coast Crip blood of Paul Rue should have contributed. To that, I think especially if Crip Mac would have denied the interview, mm. if Crip Mac would have said "fuck that," I'm not doing that. I think that would have took him a little higher too. People would have respected. Yeah. They would have respected him more. Now it's like you'll do anything. You'll go in the back room and with Tony and do some strange things for a couple of dollars. Oh, no, I, I believe shit. so. I believe so. Lee Lee Cakes. Think so. Lee Lee Cakes told me that yeah. when they used to be fucking, he used to be whispering crazy shit. And I don't know. Not the crazy. Crip Mac I know. Yeah. Well, Straight as an arrow. So is you and Crip Mac gonna do something on Plug Talk? Uh, do you want us to? Is that no, your big I idea or something? Wanted. Is that one of your things? <laughs> no. Huh? I'm ladies only whack. Yeah. You know oh, this. But you be you having know this. men in there though. Look at them in their eyes and weird shit. Oh yeah, yeah. We, I did oh, yeah. Eiffel Tower the other day. Hey, the last time I came on your show, homie, I got into some to some uh I got into some crazy back and forth. So I wanna give a shout out. Which camera? What's to uh, Rennie Lope. Rennie Lope. Rennie Lope introduced me to Crip Mac, and I didn't state that on my last one. And me and her had an issue about that, so shout out Rennie Lope. I know Rennie. Well, what was the issue? Um, when, when, when I met Crip Mac, I didn't put her in it. I didn't acknowledge her acknowledge as that connecting she, the she two plugged together. I think I left her out. You know, just being on here first time, I've never been on the platform this big. So when I got to the, you know, to speak on how we met, I think you asked me that question, and I left her out of it. Okay. You know, but... You know, shout out all them people, man. I ain't got nothing against none of them personally, but when you come at me, I'm going to come at you. If you go back on my YouTube shit, uh, uh, if you go back on my YouTube channel, it's positive. What's wrong? Vibes. Too many black people in the room? Huh? White yeah, guy? The sound panel Too many black off people the in the room, white guy? <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you, when you go down my, uh, my uh, YouTube channel, Compton Rick Rock TV, you're going to see positive vibes. You're going to see me saying positive things. Mm-hmm. But when a person come at me with the, the, the BS, and I'm going to troll back with you. It's not personal because if it was personal, I wouldn't even be on the Internet. I'd be in, I know all these dudes stay at. So if I had a personal problem with you, I'd just go over there, wait for you to come outside and kick your ass. I wouldn't even do nothing crazy to you. I'd just kick your ass, and if you, know, you want to go a little further than that, I'd probably slap you or something like that. I wouldn't do nothing crazy. But. Okay, but there, there's this conversation we've been seeing happen on the internet about Crips specifically, but I guess about gang members in general is, do you feel like the internet is fucking up the whole gang banging thing because everybody's talking about shit that they're not supposed to be talking about on the internet and whatnot? Well, they'll, they'll find that out when the police or the federals and motherfuckers come knocking on their door. You, right. know, you, you get to saying some shit that you really ain't got no business. Everything recorded is in the atmosphere. You have the choice. You have the option to get on here and promote you or brand yourself the way you want to brand it, whether it's a gang member or a non-affiliate, you get on here saying shit you ain't got no business saying. That's a reflection of your ass. It's recorded. It's documented. And when your time come for them to present that shit in court, you will wish you wouldn't have said some of the shit and did some of the shit you did. If it's some real shit. Right. You know? So we all, That's real. We all got to face that if we on here saying and doing shit we ain't got no business. Because they always listening. Even the motherfucking comments in your comment session, they'll be the police sometimes. Really? Yeah. But why would the cops need to leave comments? Because they, they, because they want you. Listen, it was a comment. Yeah. It was a comment in one of my motherfucking videos that I said, "How the fuck? Who is this?" When I seen that comment, I said, "You're in the police for sure." Oh, you know, like they got a robbery and homicide division. They have a social media division. Right. Did you ever hear from them? Because I always hear about the hip hop police in New York, no, but I never real. really hear about the cops. The motherfucker named Curly out there. He jumped out on me. White T, Air Force Ones, jeans with the with the, the badge on the chain under his shirt. I was at um out there with K Slay at the Players Club, um on Randall 
Randall Street or Randall Avenue, and I went to the car, and they pulled up four deep. I thought they had me. Jumped out, nigga, like regular, like looking like us, on the wall, nigga. What? Old dope head, motherfucking slim. We got fifty thousand for this boxing match. Oh yeah, yeah. You get you and that Custer ass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 he know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna fight both of y'all in the ring. Say, I, that, you can keep the fifty racks. I'm gonna do it for free, man. I'm gonna do it for free. Huh? I'm gonna do it. We are gonna just do it in, the, in Baby Snaps Alley. I'm gonna pull up over there. They don't want to do. I, I put up a bet that. See, I know, I know Rick Rock. Like I know, know him, mm-hmm. right? And I know what he good at, right? And I told him because I started seeing that they was using a bunch of platforms to do a bunch of little weird shit. I said, listen, I got fifty thousand. That Rick Rock had knocked both of y'all out. He'd get out with y'all at the same time. And he gonna bear both of y'all. ODM Slim and who else? No, Crip man, Mac. y'all saying the nigga name O Dope oh, Head Motherfucking okay. Slim. Oh, Dope Head yeah. Slim. And Crip Mac. Together. Together. You think you can find them both at the Facts. same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Facts. I, I didn't been in, I didn't fall. Yo, listen. Listen, man. I didn't went back to back with <laughs> Yo. What would the strategy be? You go straight nigga, for Crip he, Mac because he's bigger? Or? Knock he, the he, first he, sucker he, out. I'm gonna knock the, I'm gonna take the punches from this sucker, then I'm gonna knock the skinny yeah, yeah. one out first. Then I'm gonna go have fun whipping his ass. I didn't bend this ain't nothing new to me, man. This ain't nothing new. Yeah, yeah, we didn't bend it real I, I, Hey, listen. Like, I'm the one doing it out there. He ain't said. Just give he me ninety. Even know. Look, give me ninety days <laughs> to get in condition and they ass is grass. Right now I just you know, you know, yeah. Put the we we'll talk about that when it's when it comes time to get that right. shit. Get y'all ass up. Oh, y'all go hustle up fifty rats. Tell China Mac Crip Mac to give you some of that money he he got in his bank account. And ODM Slim, go 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 sell your Yo, ass. Hold go on, get you some of that money. China Mac. That's four leaf money. So don't keep thinking you're gonna run around out here in these streets in Cali and Crip Mac putting you in a bad spot. Four leaf got a Shout real out contract. Foley. That's the homie, man. Shout out four leaf, man. 50% partnership. So, you know, you might want to do, you might want to do what's right. He going to respect your business. Hey, look. But he got to, he got to do what's he right. He don't even own the name Crip Mac. Yeah, he, I know. He own that, man. Uh, I, I, yeah, I he know. don't even own that now. When it's I first cool. interviewed him, it was C Mac DeLoke in the title and everything. And then we ended up having to change it because he just switched it to Crip Mac. Oh. I always thought C Mac DeLoke had a little bit more flavor to it. Yeah, because yeah, so. he take, he take yeah. that Crip off of it. But like Crip, to go back Crip to Mac C-Mac is like so simple. Yeah. You need to go back to mm-hmm. C Mac to low. Take that Crip no, off your C-Mac, shit. No, C Mac, C Mac. That that's that sound a little more smoother. C- yeah, Business C-Mac wise, yeah. yeah, yeah, do. Yeah, cause yeah do. It's less because because for face. one, when you see Crip, it puts you in the box. Certain yeah. people that may want to do some commercial shit with you. C Mac, they not You better go it. back to C Mac. That's good. That's good, yeah, man. Nigga, Come on, that's that's you need to be his manager, man. Get the buns away from C Mac. The low is is a is a better ring, and for business. It won't put him in a box. That's why I'm always kind of amazed seeing China Mac manages it and man, him. China Mac like, don't know what the fuck he. Doing, what is man. that even going to be like on a day to day basis? It must be fucking crazy. And especially as a dude who's not really like from L. A. You're with Crip Mac. I'm you got to be navigating L. A. shit all the Look, time. Right? I know China Mac. Right. We good, but I'm China Mac. Tap in with six hundred them. Yeah. Four leave got real legal paperwork, and you st- and right now. You are conspiring to steal from a real hoodster. You know, he going to respect you going to get business, but y'all got to run the man this cut. Right. Okay. Even you, Adam. You see him? He served me with the, the notice. You? Yeah, yeah, I told him to. 600 did. I told him to. Shout out 600. That's my young. That's business. Boy, that ain't got nothing to do with you. I got my lawyers working on it. Yeah, they got to they gotta run him his cut. Right. Do yeah, the right thing. Stuff. Man. Hey, let me ask you this. What up? What up? Why is your artist uh, getting stabbed in the boxing ring? Uh, partially because all artists, all of them, at some point in time in their career, get comfortable because things haven't happened. Right. And when you got older cats around you, they all think that we are over exaggerating shit. When we be telling them shit, they be like, "Man, oh man, that nigga, that nigga over, he tripping, man, that shit ain't." So he got stabbed. First and foremost, because he got comfortable and went to train by himself. So he's just training in the boxing gym on some regular shit, acting like I he's not famous. I just booked a fight in Manchester, England. And and who is he going to fight? I forget some YouTuber dude. Who is the security over there? Bingo! No he security. Said, he ain't no, tell no, nobody. Look, when I was doing security <laughs> for uh, for gang, right? You remember we was at the... Yeah. Uh, I was doing... I was game security guard. Okay, yeah. you know that. We was at the Coliseum. What's the Coliseum? Coliseum. This motherfucker gets into it, and I'm going to clear something up because a lot of people got this story fucked up. 
when uh, they say, oh, boy, fire on you. He never fired on He swung, he missing, swung ran, missing, right? missing, 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 when you was getting into it with the police, this motherfucker didn't, this motherfucker crazy, homie. He told the police, fuck your mama. I beat y'all ass. I, I grabbed gang, like, come on, let's roll, homie. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Like, I used to make sure that he Man, was straight. You, yeah, so. but see, I put bro on game. Him and gang got their own relationship. I put bro on game because I know him on him is me on him. Mm -hmm. But I got, I got to do the management shit. He ain't going to stop the no limps. I, this is what I know. If I find game fucked up, he triple fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what that was. And so you got to remember, this is <laughs> this is right around the time of your crazy ass movement. Right, right. Right? So they think I'm out of my mind, right? Game said, I said, man, we're going to put rock on you. He said, whack, man, you know the rock been on some crazy shit. I don't give a fuck. That's rock. Right? And it's crazy because one of my, my boys out there, Right, when he hear the dude that been running that movement is at the video, he try to find you. Right, he said, "What the dude that did the movement? There ain't no bump." Hey, when that they nigga, say hey, he, when, hey, when that nigga see me, that nigga looked, <laughs> and he said, "On par rule, ain't nothing going on. Rock could get down with man. It was about twenty of them dudes on me. Yeah, he was like, right. Rock get down with every last one of y'all. I'm like, man, right. shit is what it is. So Fuck I'm there, dying this motherfucker. Wacko from West Side there. The right people there, right? But what's crazy is... Shout out Wacko, man. Real nigga, man. With him and uh, On The Fingers, Lil John started talking. Because Lil John like, homie, man, what's up with the whoop de whoop So Rock is working, but he's still maintaining his cripping, right? Mm -hmm. But one thing Rock know, right? We ain't going to let that happen. Nigga, I met Geechee like that. When I met Geechee, he was at your old spot... A death trap hey, ass. No, 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 no. I'm going to bring this nigga up in it. When y'all think about the song, man, remember you say, who that nigga that's on the song with you, Rock? That was Geechee, man. But listen, Rock, Geechee, but I'm getting to the politics. Go ahead. Get to, go ahead. When I meet <laughs> Geechee, they coming to do something with you. Me I, me and Reek was, was there that day, right? Shout out Reek. So I'm in the alley. So I know Geechee them is in there because I just left them. So I see a car pull up with two, three little grimy little niggas, right? I know at this time, if something happened with Geechee and I've never spoke a word to him in my life, I'm the blame. And I know that's rock homie. I know that's rock homie. Geechee will tell you. That's my brother. His man. homies came in and told him. The nigga whack nigga out there show stopped us. Homie, who y'all here for? Because if they was coming to do something to him, I would have had to do something to them. Because at the end of the day, wait, what happened? They whooped who was there. Who was in the alley? Whack. Right? Rock gonna tell me whack. Whether you know the homie or not, that's my homie. Do for me what I'm gonna do for you. Right? So Rock was straight, but just to have a heart to cover that and vibe it was crazy. Damn, Him and Lil John started talking, mm -hmm. and they this nigga, his whole family was your daddy. daddy his whole sometimes. family from Lil John neighborhood. So it worked out great. And now him and Lil John, they see each other. Lil John, I know Lil John, shit. Uncle uh, Momo. I know the, I know yeah, everybody. So that you know, from the hospital. It's like our politics, man, has been working for us. Cause it be real motherfuckers that if they run across each other at the wrong time, it could it could go bad. Mm -hmm. So because I may have a relationship with somebody and it, it be a dude they don't like, I'm able to 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 bring it together a different way to where they can get understanding. And that's just what this is about. If we lose using our influence to send motherfuckers at motherfuckers other than 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 kill it and fix it and let's move on with business, then you're moving wrong. Okay. But let me just finalize this story though. So Blueface is boxing by himself training. Yeah. Is this like in the valley or is this valley. more towards the city? Valley. He's in the valley. Okay. And some random gang member walks up in there he one of the gang starts, member. Okay, he was just tweaking. He won the game. I, mean, I kind of know what it's about. Blue, we, we, we know but don't know, right? Because dude came in there screaming about a brawl, right? And to all you rappers, all you rappers, let me give you a word of advice. One, never get comfortable. Get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Never say, I didn't went over here to the store a million times, ain't nothing going to happen. Because at one time, something could happen. Keep your team with you. Before you go out, and buy a bunch of unnecessary shit. Say, so you know what? That 200000 I can give 
three homies that can be with me every day a nice little salary, and they move with you. Because while he's in the ring, he vulnerable. He wide open. Right. Right? And then rappers, when y'all doing y'all little thing after the shows or whatever, always know a lot of these women y'all with, they got a boyfriend. They just ain't telling you. And let me tell you what happens one day. That phone ring and a nigga answer it and he goes through motherfucking text messages or something or she noticed that you're liking a certain celebrity shit and he sees the interaction and that boyfriend is going to say, what's this? This say you met up with such and such and it's a good chance at that point in time that female out of pure fear is going to lie. She'll say anything. Right. But when you fucking these these chicks and whoop, they tired to people, those is potential enemies. Man, a, a weak nigga kill you behind a female. So you um, think this guy stabbed him over like he, he had something yeah, going on with Krishan no, or it, something? No, no, I had nothing to do with Krishan. <laughs> I think it might have just been a random or something. It could have been some random shit because we don't know him. He wasn't a gang member. But what happened after the stabbing? He went to the hospital and got stitches. What happened to the guy? They caught him two days later. Really? But he, but he in the best situation. He's got, he stabbed someone who won't tell on him? You know these cameras, these stop signs, these stop signs, they got cameras on top of them. Right. They call this plate. <laughs> they call this plate. This reminds me of Molly Mall. Is he wearing Incredibles diapers? Yeah. Yeah, he got Incredible diapers on it. That's incredible. That's the whole purpose of bringing up Incredible Yo, this diapers. Hey, this nigga got better cologne on than me. <laughs> right? So they um, caught him. From his license plate, the um, the goddamn camera on one top of the stop signs or whatever caught his plate. They went to his house the next day arresting him. But he's in a great situation. You know, nephew, you know, he a real schoolyard crib. We ain't picking nobody out, no lineups, and we ain't showing up to court on nobody. Motherfucker, I like ODM Slim. Get this motherfucker. Come on. Let's get this. He's grooming like himself. A, like a dope. Smacking Come get ODM Slim. Yeah, Come, ODM Come ODM Slim. get ODM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Come get ODM. Motherfucker, well, we like ODM yeah, Slim over here. Oh, he can come to you? Right. Oh, like, Slim. His name is Slim, bro. ODM Slim. Willie, Willie. Hey, yo, listen, man. We brought... Um, hey, uh, oh, what's the incredible diapers, man? This shit work even on, uh, even on, on monkeys. Even on monkeys, man. Incredible yeah. brought diapers yeah. even work on monkeys, baby. Right. Yo, this is crazy. Uh, shout out to Marley Maul. And ODM Slim. Marley Maul, the first one I ever Why does Marley Maul remind you of this monkey in the Because diaper? Marley Maul had monkeys. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. He had them. Like, they be running. He had all kind of shit. He, I mean, he had some wolves... Wolves running around his property, real motherfucking wolves. Right, and they all they almost snatched the lady over the gates. So we had to get rid of. So you're telling me Blueface got stabbed and fucked up so bad that he can't box in a couple of I months? I don't know what. See, this is the thing he called it a thigh stabbing. So we got stitches. So now we talk about can he condition? Mm. Can he run on it? So we we'll know. I'm a, you know I'm gonna give him a couple days to see how he feel. Can he run on it? Can he train on it? Because we only got like fifty days. Right. How much Blueface getting paid to box these days? A whole lot of money. Really? I'm whole thinking about lot, getting into it. Oh, they, they give you a bag. Too. Problem is, I don't think I can fight. It don't matter. They give you a bag. You think I can learn? They will give you a Yeah. I will put you with um uh, my boy uh, Malik Scott. Yeah? Yeah. I need to at least like my get boy, in there. Philly. I need to get in the boxing yeah. gym and figure out what I will put what you, they think of me. He training the um. Who you, who you what's gonna up, take the fade with? What's up, boy? Name Bronze know. Bomber. I will take the fade. What do you mean, Adam? Will take the fade. Set that up. Whoever you get in the ring yeah. with. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> like listen, you they will give you a bag. Yeah. Serious money. Adam will be real with the skyrocket your shit. Yeah, it seems like it would be a good time for like the content. Yeah. You know what I would do if I was you. Right before the fight, I do a little skit. Hey, listen, before I get in the ring, I got to do my plug talk shit with my bitch back here, right? Act like you did a whole sex session with your bitch and go in the ring and whoop a motherfucker. So ass. I got to ask you this because right. you always are trying to imply that I'm sus. But so the other day. No, I ain't never say you, you do be saying gay shit. Okay. Well. I just think you're a white boy. <laughs> right. Y'all do that type of shit even in the pen. You know, the woods run around. They be doing all kind of yeah, shit. They slap stuff. each other with drawers We're doing this live stream thing, and I'm fucking this girl from behind, right? Yeah. And there's this French dude, Alex, and he's getting topped from her at the same time. And he's French. So he goes, hey, Adam, Eiffel Tower? So I hit that. You know, I had to, we had the Eiffel Tower real quick. And, I mean, that was kind of like a new level to me because I don't know if I ever really, like, touched my hand against another man's hand while I was piping before. <laughs> 
So in that moment, I felt kind of like, damn, maybe we're, maybe we're at the whole room. Cannot believe I'm saying this. I felt like that might have been a whole new level for me. I wish I had a visual aid I could show you. Yo, listen, bro. <laughs> We know that y'all, your kind is y'all weird like that. I don't we think got, you should put all white people in whatever category you're putting me in. But the shit y'all do, we don't do. I, we do got one crazy motherfucker. What's that crazy motherfucker from Watch? Daylight, Sunlight. What's that oh, motherfucker? Daylight. daylight. That motherfucker's crazy. He's shit on the ground in the battle. Yeah, he, he burnt out. Right. Yeah. But He's out there. The shit you do. Actually, he faked it. And you comfortable with doing. Right. Like, like your wife will laugh about that. Yeah. Our girl going to look at us funny as a motherfucker. Well, I think she might have been looking at me funny, too, but it didn't stop her. Do from... she know that she was looking in a man's eyes and shit? Yeah, she was there. And she was cool with that? Yeah, I think she understood. Yeah, that, that we ain't, that's some different type of shit. That's some different type of shit, Adam. I know. You know what I mean? To each his own. But, uh, Adam, we do not move a play. What's up with your scary-ass clansmen, bro? Who? Captain oh, Tazar, y'all bro. Richard Spencer. Yeah, he didn't respond to my DM. I feel like he doesn't want the smoke anymore. He's scared to debate the brother? I don't know. He got a complicated uh, personal life, uh, from what I could tell. Man. Like, I don't know. He seems like he's probably got a lot of shit going on. Yo, man, listen. The culture needs that. We need that debate. Man, we need more phase, man. <laughs> hold on, more phase. I think. Hold I on, think hold on, one second, one second. We, we need that hey, debate. Hold on, we need Adam, more phase. Adam, I got to, I got to, listen, I got the champ, a black champ on the phone. Okay. So bow down to something that's greater than you. Um, Floyd. Oh. Yeah, what a, what a word. Listen, I'm up here with no jumper. I got Adam 22. I got my comrade, um, Rick Rock from Compton Crib with me. We clearing up a few things. But I was, we were just talking about the support, right, of, of what we do. Right, and one thing about Floyd, how I say I, I allow people to have reach to me, Floyd allows people to have reach to him. Mm -hmm. Right, I I've been knowing him for many moons, but we just been knowing just through passing. But when I send him my diaper shit and all that, you know what he Floyd? When I sent you my diaper information, what did you text me back and say? I want it. And what we doing? So I've been looking for a partner. I didn't want a bunch of partners. I didn't get the offer. So no. So, we'll cover everything. so me and Floyd, Floyd gonna partner with me on Incredible Diapers. You know what I'm saying? I said, I said tell me what you need and let's make it happen. I That's seen it. Floyd manhandling Blueface the other day. I, we, I was in the ring. You know no. what? You know what? No. Floyd ran him for was, it, Floyd. What was that? A five minute round? <laughs> I don't. know. It was. Entertaining, we had fun, and that was that's what it was about. You know, I didn't want to. Uh, I want to give people entertainment, and he wanted to too. So now watch I this. Her. I originally called Floyd, and I had to sit down and think about it. Floyd had a fight. What happened? I said, Floyd, we need the main event. We business partners. I need to put Blueface in the ring with you. Floyd said, Whack. I will not do that. He said why? He said because I'm not Floyd. What you tell me, bro? Tell me what I told you. Man. He said, I will not, as a black man, humiliate, undermine another black man. He's a rapper. I'm a professional boxer. Let's do something else. Right? I can put him on the event. He could do a song. I get him a bag or I put him on the undercard. But Floyd, I'm here to uplift and strengthen. I'm not here to break none of our people down. But Logan Paul, he got fucked up. He's a white boy. Right. Y'all y'all been challenging us all our life. <laughs> the ch this is the chat. Well, I, I, I don't say that, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> hey, yo. You know, when it, when it comes down to it, business is business at the end of the day. All that. Yo, Floyd, whenever you come into town, Adam bless me with a slot on his show. I would love to bring you up here, man, so you can have a conversation with him here in the Valley. Let me know when you coming into town. I can try to wheel work around your schedule. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you uh, partnering up with me. Um, it would have took people two, three years. Adam. Let's get it. Adam, keep up the, Adam, keep up the great work. You stay positive. Whack, you know I'm behind you 100%. And, you know, um, you know when I'm out in L.A., you know, anytime, anytime I can help out or give back, that's what I'm, I'm here to do. Let's get it. I'm trying to get in the boxing world, too. So I might I need his help. I live in L.A. also. Man. You know, I live in L.A. also. Yeah. And, you know, it's all about 
Hey, I got Floyd, a boxing match wanna, against this big. Crip. I don't want to get on one of the boxing cards, Floyd. That'll yeah. be big. Okay. I don't want. Hey, okay. hey, we got to put him on with one of them YouTubers or one of these other dudes. That'll hey, be I'm big. YouTube. He gonna get in with me, man. There you go. Let's gonna make it happen. Man, I don't gonna take this fight. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting uh, John Gotti the third again in Las Vegas. I don't know where it's supposed to be. It could be in Las Vegas. Could be in Miami, or it, it, it could be in uh, Canada. So um, I'll Let's, speak with... Holler at me. Let's get him uh, on the undercard. Me, me and Wack are coming. I'll speak with, I'll, I'll speak with Wack, and we can, we can make it happen. Shout out to my boy S. Mac. S. Mac from Rolling Sixties was uh, yeah. one of my main guys that put me in contact with Floyd. We've always... S. Mac. And then he just gave me my direct shout out to S. Mac. Love, always. One shot, one, one shot is my guy. S. Mac, solid dude. I mean, what, over 25 years, he's been solid. He can always call me for anything, and I'll show up. And, of course, when I show up, we're going to show out. You know, S., you my guy. You know, I love you. Do the good, the bad, and Yep. Look, I appreciate you for answering, bro. Um, I'm going I'm to hit you like Monday, Tuesday, and we're going to get you to business. Whenever. All right, love. I mean, whenever. What? I'm here. Yeah. All, right. All right. So, listen. So nigga, That was pretty impressive in terms so of you listen. flexing the Rolodex on here. I always do that. Yeah. All right, no problem. Phone, Floyd listen, Mayweather, he's going to pick up. People, it's all I'm going to be real. And Geechee, we had this conversation, right, because I gave you mine, and I'm like, this is the start of yours. People in the street say... Man, Wack be doing this. He said this. He be doing this. He be doing that. How this nigga can still do this or how he can still do that? Because your your your, your phone book ain't right. Mm. Y'all over there piecing up to get a bottle of Hennessy and a pizza, right? <laughs> my business partners, my phone book, right, is different. Mm -hmm. My man Sam out there, right? He works for them. He works for the embassy. Brought me. $150 million contracts to distribute in the Middle East for incredible diapers, right? Uh huh. Okay? I can hear Floyd. Floyd is investing in the diaper company, right? Motherfucker, um, they brought a uh, little dude from Bounty Hunters, um, Shy Belligerent. Runchy from Grape Street brought a Bounty Hunter, listen to me, Runchy from Grape Street brought a Bounty Hunter to my studio. I sent the music to Birdman. Wax sent it to Birdman. He heard it. I like it. I'll be out there in a week. Wax, let's do something. Right? And I was telling nephew over there, like, listen, here go my number. Feel free to whatever meeting you doing, whatever you doing, if you need to use my name because it's going to give you reach, use it. If you got to call me, I'm going to pick up. Now, what's up? What, whatever you doing, we doing. And that's what it's about. Learn how to build your Rolodex and your phone book with people that matter to the people that's going to really make a difference in your situation. People have gotten to you, Adam, through me. True. It's real talk. Just how it worked. Shout out to my boy Jason Lee. Jason Lee's another one that you know, Wack, if you need me, I'm there for you. So that's why Wack is able to move and do what he does, because my business, my business is in the corporate corporate world. You know what I noticed about Jason Lee? What up? We gotta keep an eye on him. Because now hold on, bro. All, not brother. like that. Hold but on. all the all the male porn star dudes that I know, he's following them and liking all their pictures. He probably gay, he openly gay. <laughs> Jason probably tried to put his in. These are not gay porn stars. These are straight porn. How you porn know? Well, I mean, I guess you I don't know. You gay motherfucker or gay Tennessees. Right. Hey, but gay I, acting. I think it's gay right. acting to nothing. <laughs> we, we, right. we had a, a, a male porn star on the stream the other day. Uh, he's a blood from Nebraska, and he's got a song with Sada Baby. He's a porn star. That, I was like, that's pretty cool. My homeboy Thump from my neighborhood did porn way back when. So uh -huh. we don't frown on homies to do porn. As no, long no, as no. they fucking a, a female. That's crucial. I respect that more. But you, can you respect a stripper? A stripper, yeah. A male stripper? No, I, oh. I mean, yeah. Hey, I respect they hustle with them. All right. I'm not supporting it. But I'm, I'm not going to call you gay either. Because if you a male stripper at a female strip club, it's what it is. Yeah. Well, so I don't know all that shit. Does David working at the, the dude's strip club versus yeah, the I don't even know if there is like a dude you, version. That's what I'm it. saying. I don't know all that work. If yeah. you're a male stripper and you it's a bunch of bitches in there. Right. Nigga, I ain't got no, I ain't got no rebuttal. Whenever you talk to an LA dude who who gangbangs and strips, you can always feel the conflict when you talk to him about it. Where they they know that their profession is not a hundred percent accepted by their people. I don't know, Rock, but you trip if one of your homies was at a female all female strip club. And he, the homie, didn't got out. He, you know, he didn't been in there doing his burpees, and he get paid. 
With the bitches, they're probably knocking him down every night. It's something positive. He ain't robbing nobody. He ain't, he ain't, I wouldn't, I'm not going to call I'm him. Out I wouldn't look at it. I, I wouldn't have no... I wouldn't have nothing Anytime you're doing something man Where you ain't putting Your freedom in jeopardy And you ain't riding As long as it ain't No weird shit Get your money man I ain't got I don't knock how nobody Get that paper Okay That's real shit As long as it don't involve You know the Violation of women Kids You know And shit like that I really ain't got Nothing to say about it Alright this is my next question For you is Why are you going to war With Amber Rose She got out of line With her mouth And I just had to I had to let her know What was the first thing She said to set this off No this is how it went Right it's, it's really some clubhouse shit. Oh, it always now, is. You got to understand, right? You know, that's my that's my backyard. Right. So when you ask me, right, if you say, hey, why? So you at it with such and such, that's my guy. You putting the heat on him because you leave him alone for me. And I say, you know what, Adam, because you called me, done. I never asked you that. I turn it off. No, but just real shit, right? Am I allowed to ask you that? Yeah, you. I mean, hmm. I feel we got that type of rapport with each other. Interesting. I would respect. You asked me that a week ago. About who? JT, the bigger figure. You lied to me. <laughs> told me he was coming next week. <laughs> so we go out and congregate in the front. Yeah, you right? were trying to press him, huh? No, no. Listen, we congregate in the front. Security like, yo, whack, how long y'all going to be here? What the fuck you, where, how long we going to be here? You ain't never worried about that. But well, JT, the bigger figure, coming. That's cool. Let him come. I don't have a problem with JT. But what I think, like I was telling Rock, some of these niggas be doing shit and saying shit, and they think I know. I promise you, if you don't send it to me, or people don't send it to me, I'll never know. So a lot of y'all, 90% of y'all, doing whatever you doing towards WAC 100, I never see it. I did a three and a half hour interview with him, and I never got around to asking him why he doesn't like you. So well, I'm still no, kind of I'm going to tell dark. you why. Oh, okay. He mad about... When I talked about the, the, the business decision he did, I mean, was it dumb to me? I thought it was dumb. In terms of what, game? That was the dumbest shit he could have did in life. So basically— You do know he owned Game's first album. Yeah, he— He sold it for $250,000 to Alan Grumblack at Koch Records. Alan sat back and watched Interscope sign him uh, through Kenji Desperado, Kate Ogden from Mansfield, right? And watched them pick a date for the documentary— and when he seen the date on the documentary, Alan Grumblack went and booked the same date and put his album that he gave JT a quarter million dollars for right on the side of it. I brought the wrong motherfucking album when I went in there. Right. So he was getting, he didn't do no promo, he didn't do no videos, he didn't do shit. He just positioned it on the side of the documentary and cleaned up four, five men the first weekend. It's pretty smart. For Alan. Well, you don't consider it smart from JT. He should have held on to it. The minute you seen Dre was fucking with him and all this was fucking with him, and you own this motfucking album 100% unreleased music, you goddamn right. But how much or, is an old, weak or ass what I game done? Like, that album was weak as fuck the, compared to the documentary, the thing, right? Look, the worst thing I would have done was got a bigger bag up front with a partnership. He signed away everything. 100%. And so you criticized this business decision, and then he has issues with That's you because it. you criticized it. That was it. I, okay. Listen, I respect his hustle. I told you that. I ain't got nothing bad to say. I don't know nothing about him, somebody doing anything to him. I know he's a natural-born hustler. I've seen him hustle from the U.S. to Africa. Mm. But after about an hour, and they saying, he ain't going to pull up till you leave, whack. See, that's what I got a problem with. Because mm. whatever you did to think I got a problem with you, if you know I'm here, pull then up. you should pull up. I think they were they were probably gaslighting him and telling him some other reason why they didn't want him to pull up or they wanted him to wait. Cap, because they was round the corner. When we left and bent the right, it was four or five people in a motherfucking suburban parked right round the corner. They, I just he, he came, oh yeah, he came with like two other people. Listen, but it, it was, was like an hour after you left. No, it wasn't. They weren't supposed to tell you the person that we were trying to avoid you running into. Adam, let me ask you a question. I was trying to avoid Adam, blood being shed question. in the parking lot. Do you think, I want to see what, if we on the same wavelength. Okay. Do you think that I would violate or disrespect your place of business on any of my personal shit? Yes. You do? 
if okay. it came down to it, no. do I think it you're like eagerly going to do that? No. Do I think, think that I... when it comes down to it, and it doesn't have to be you, you come okay. in here with a lot of guys who they seem like great people, but they also seem like they would definitely do my something. My people, listen, no, I, my I, people I not going to, they're not going to disrespect me. Today we got a little bit of a different crew, but your usual crew is my here as well. crew is here, and then we right. got the homies from Copy Crip here, right? right? I got a man, I was locked up with this man 30 years ago, mm -hmm. right? So... I would never see a motherfucker that I got to and trip here. I'd be disrespect. My respect for you is greater than my disregard for them. I appreciate that. Now, of that. course, if I'm in a situation where my life is in jeopardy or a motherfucker stand up and try to get off on me, I got to do what I got to do as a man. Mm. But even then, I would limit to how far it went. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you can't say that for your friends. Uh, definitely. They're going to stop when I stop. Yeah, we all got They're going to acknowledge yeah, yeah. We're going they're gonna acknowledge what we do what we doing. We're just trying to keep you away from people where homies, we're gonna listen, have those issues. Hey, look, you look, know? Adam, listen, Adam. We got some homies with me and Rock know we can't bring around this shit. Mm. They not gonna understand where, where them where them niggas from. Too wild. They're not gonna understand. That's that's them. Well one thing about we my it. one thing about my homies is like we come in peace. Like we ain't looking for nothing, but if you bring it to us, then you're gonna have an issue. But as far as us starting shit and shit like that, we, we know how to conduct ourselves like men. Like we ain't that. on none of that. But the thing is, is that he takes the temperature to a boil on Clubhouse. Well, that's only and then when he runs into these Clubhouse, people, though. it's already simmering right at the top what? of the fucking pot. What's simmering? Because the water. Ninety percent of the people, I don't even be knowing these niggas. And that's part of the problem too. No, you have so many enemies that you don't even know like, which people enemies. are your enemies. You, you got, got the enemies. same motherfucker. You got, hey, you got enemies too. <laughs> you got enemies. Hey, we all got enemies, but at the end of the day, you got to understand that like, when this shit is content, we know what the fuck going on. But it's the people outside that take it to a whole nother level. So that's right. why sometimes when we do be on this motherfucker, when we do got these platforms and we do say shit, we already got to know what's coming with this shit. Because it be motherfucker. It was a dude walk up, walked up on me at the mall the other day. Rick Rock, I didn't know who the fuck this dude was, but I'm like, nigga, what's yeah. happening? He's like, oh man, I, I follow you on. Oh, I get you. you know what? I'm glad you told me that. Because if that's happening, Rock, what, what it's starting. Now, hey, as far the... as Amber Rose, oh, shit. I really was going to, I want to give you this shit. <laughs> Ray J called me, told me, chill out. And Jason Lee came on Clubhouse to find me because I wouldn't answer his phone call. I knew why he was calling and asked me to chill out. So I can't, I, you know, I got to leave with it. Why are you implying that Wiz Khalifa is gay? Didn't I just tell you <clears throat> that Ray J and Jason Lee told me to chill out? Now that came out of your mouth. Well, I mean, that was the main thing that stood out to me is that you were threatening to expose Wiz Khalifa in this whole Amber Rose beef. Um, let's just say this. My batting average is pretty high when I say I know I got some shit. Uh-huh. Everybody know that. Niggas be talking some shit. Woo, woo, woo. I'll put up the whole text thread. And niggas be like, oh, nigga. <laughs> but you got nothing against Wiz, right? He would just be a casualty of war if you were to expose whatever nothing you're talking about. Wiz is a great guy, great artist, even great, even better dad. You know what I'm saying? You want to just tell the room right now and we'll censor it out? What? Tell the room what? Whatever you plan on exposing about him? See, your problem is, <laughs> this is 2023. This ain't 1823. I got nothing against him. The black man is in control of Seems our like mind, of our mouth. Oh, like we in control. Okay. You're not going to manipulate me, Adam, to get what you want. I just figured that if huh? you know something, you would want to tell the room. As Captain uh, Tazaria would say, came the night from the Caucasus Mountains. Nice you're not going to manipulate yeah, me, nice Adam. Nice wrong guy. Is yeah. this the anti-white hate speech you're perpetrating nah, nah, on me right here? Much. Adam, listen. We do what we do. You're going to let This Wiz week is the Adam and Wax show. Uh -huh. Last week it was the Wack and Adam show, and then you came up with the other one. This white boy told me we're going to call the show 22 Ster and the Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? 22 Ster. No. It's got a nice ring to it. No, because see, now what you're doing is you're adding more fire to some of my crib comrades. Come on, why? God damn, man. Niggas know where you from, man. Why you just couldn't leave it to the, the Adam and Wax but show? But that's not the official name. That's like our secret, that's cool, all like, secret clubhouse shit. name. Yeah, I ain't not, got no secrets not that clubhouse, you, though, That's out. Yeah, we got no, secrets. No, the fuck we don't. You're not down to have a secret with me? No, absolutely not. You're a little different. If I told you that I did some crazy, like, some real You're not going to tell me nothing You're not going to keep my secret? If I so, tell you where the bodies are hidden, you're not going to keep nah, my secret? No, I don't want to know none of that. You're going to threaten on TMZ to expose business. me or something? That ain't my business. Damn. That ain't my Rick Rock, listen. Well, what the <laughs> fuck you got planned? What you got coming up? This is what we doing, man. We, my thing is I want to get into short films. 
That's mm. the next big thing I want to do. I want to start doing movies. That's my passion. I love being behind the camera. A lot of the stuff that you see on the internet, you got Compton, Rick Rock, you got Rick Rock sometimes. They both, uh, you know, have conflicts with each other. Sure. But, you know, that's my thing. I'm going to do short films, get back into the comedy skits. You know what I'm saying? If Crip Mac ever want to, I don't, like, I don't have no problem with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? If they want to air get some out the way, then that's cool too. But if they want to knock out some movies, let's do some real shit. Let's get some real shit going. Let's bring some laughter and some humor to the world. Let's get off all this bullshit that we be out here putting out. Yep. And a lot of these dudes that's on the internet, you know what I'm saying, We even including myself, we got to be aware of the shit that we put out because there's a lot of kids and shit watching. It's a lot of people that's, that look up to us and shit. So I don't want to just get too caught up in the negative shit. I want to also do my films and something positive. You know we should bring you and uh, Crip Mac on here for a, a reunion. Yeah, Crip Mac ain't going to do nothing but but say he's sorry and do the shit. He don't want to play a rock. You know I got a call yesterday. We about to do an R. Kelly project. What kind of project? Saving R. Kelly. So not surviving, saving. Saving. I come up with saving R. Kelly. Really? Yeah, I'm probably going to run it to Zeus. Okay. We got like... Uh, four years. Now picture this, of the recorded conversations with R. Kelly. Right. Now you got to remember, at the first time he was arrested, what his mentality was. I mean, I'm finna bail. I'm finna get out this shit. Right. Now he see it's real. No bail. They piling up charges in different states. Right. What his mentality was, the conversation was, on through the trial, on through so on so forth. People turn on him. Uh, Tasha K doing the shit with the motherfucking feds, you know, um, illegally getting his motherfucking emails and shit like that. All that going on to him getting sentenced, even to him actually, you know, performing songs, new songs over the phone that he putting together, right? And all that content. So what I'm thinking is we're going to set up a environment with probably four people. We get somebody to host it, press play. And then some of the points in it, we'll stop it. We'll have somebody pro R. Kelly, somebody anti R. Kelly, and somebody that is neutral, and they could debate what he's talking about, right, on these recordings, right, as they go along. We're going to make it a docuseries. I just came up with that like two days ago. If Zeus gets behind that and the Blueface and Krishan show, then their their track record will really be impressive. We already, already greenlit that. I already called Lemmy. That's my, that's my partner. They can just do whatever he they want over there, huh? I mean, you know, that's Floyd. Floyd's part See, of that. See, that's the value of not Floyd is linking up with a corporation. Because once you're oh. with a corporation, they're going to say, oh, you can't make a documentary about we'll serial rapists, and you can't, you can't, uh, you know, dramatize and platform Blueface's abusive relationship. Yeah. I got another thing we about to do called Sneakerheads. What's that going to be? Crazy. Sneakerheads is crazy. It's about sneakers? Yeah. You know, it's, the sneakers are alive, and, you know, we get a bunch of, you know, entertainers and stuff, mm -hmm. voices. But just, just so you can see... How, how cool this shit is. Sneaker head. Oh, it's a bunch of shoes, yeah, like with already, cartoon yeah, eyes and stuff. Though. So they're all going to be a, this should be a Pixar film. Yeah, no, it's no? our film. It's a WAC 100 production. No, nah, well, I wouldn't say that. I'm partnering with somebody. I got Birdman interested, uh, Zeus interested. So I'm going to get the finances behind it. The script is already done and we're going to get it going. You see your boy Charleston pepper spraying his opponent? Oh, yo, hey, listen. <laughs> I don't fuck with dude. But the fact I can halfway respect that he is who he is. Live uh -huh. up to what he said. He saying. tell niggas, yeah, you come spray. playing with me, nigga, I'm hit you with this spray. That bear spray. So man. look, do I think he went to pepper spray the man? No. But in Charleston head is, nigga, I've known Fitz to get my ass, and I'm going to use fence stuff. I'm fence to get my ass whooped anyway, right? Uh-huh. If I go out here and this man do anything to me, I really can't do nothing. Right. So fuck it. I'm going to strap up with yeah. shit, pepper got, spray. He got one eye. He got shit. Do you yeah. see how, bro, y'all, did you see how quick he was with that shit? Shit was already in his face. It's like, like he yeah. sat in the mirror with the robe yeah. and practiced. <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, you know how nigga do that. nigga draw it out of his face. Woo! Let me tell you some buses. Geechee, you got to admit, third, his homies that was winning the fighter, you niggas is busters. All you niggas is bitches. Because there ain't no way, soon as he pepper sprayed him, you niggas was supposed to take flight. He can't hit everybody. I'm thinking, Somebody go. But it was probably, let, let's just, elephant in the room. It's probably fake, right? Rock y'all getting off. Natural reaction. Hey, your, your brain didn't automatically go to like, oh, this is probably fake. 
No, that ain't no. Rockstar was there. Really? Rock, they had to clear the room. You know how that pepper spray do, nigga. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah, we we prison wide prison. babies. Hey, hey. But, you, but you see the prison move. You know how you got a knife in your hand, but your jacket. That nigga, that nigga put that spray. That out. nigga, that nigga pushed him. <laughs> that nigga push, draw down, spray. <laughs> Man. Charleston seemed a little too calm afterwards. That oh, made me feel like tonight. it might not have been real. They fight tonight. It's tonight. <laughs> he said he got boxing. He said he, said he got pepper spray boxing. Yo, but okay. When I'm looking at his opponent, who I don't know who he is, I clicked on the hey, shit. Boy, he got like twenty thousand followers. He can't just beat him. My, my thing that. is, is like this is like a normal, healthy dude, and then you have Charleston White, who looks like he belongs in a wheelchair. He's like half Charleston retarded. Charleston got that bag. To me, that how is figures. how is this fool not gonna beat the dog shit out of him? Shit, I'll take he has whoop. to. For six, he I'm can't gonna just six win. Figures. Six figures. Yeah, so good. Look, he shit. can't just win. Right. After he did what he did to him, dude got to whoop Charleston's ass. Right. If he just wins the fight, if that shit goes the distance and Charleston got dropped seven times and didn't get beat bad and knocked out, nigga's going to clown him. He got to whoop his ass right. now. There's no hey, way Charleston White can fight. He, 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 he's yeah. like handicapped. Like he can't fight. Like there's no way. I don't believe I it for a second. Get in there and Man, swim for, on six, for six figures, any more. Hey, hey, I think Charleston <laughs> gonna get in there and swim <laughs> on him. He hey. gonna get that motherfucker, nigga. Man. And that nigga. Like, <laughs> or he might run around. He might hop around for me. Hey, but and he might hey. be talking about but, float like a butterfly. <laughs> I ain't got no sting like a bee. Hey, for six figures, you gonna learn how to. Fight. Fight. For sure. Six figures, I, especially yeah. if you at home and you down to your last. Yeah, I fight Tyson right now. I get in the ring with Mike Tyson. Mm. Yeah, that nigga. Hey, that I nigga get in the ring with Mike Tyson. But I think you have a way better chance against Mike Tyson yeah. than Charleston White has against like any healthy adult male. I take that fate with Tyson. Set it up. Mm. Yeah, set it up. Yeah, <laughs> that's my Get partner. Floyd on the phone, man. Set that shit up. No, that's my part. You're gonna pay for the Charleston White pay per view? Whack. Whack. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to do what? You're going to pay for the Charleston White pay-per-view? Oh, yeah, I'm watching that. Really? For sure. You're going to bootleg it or you're going to actually pay for it? Well, I'm, I'm for one, I want to support 11-11. Oh, that's who's doing it. Uh, okay. You know, I think they're behind it or whatever. That's who was supposed to book a Crim Mac fight previously as well. Yeah. Yeah, that was them. And they just fucked it up or was that another example of him just tweaking out? It's the people behind him. People behind him. Mm. Um. And uh, a rock star over there, so he he, you know, they offered me a bag to go commentate, but it was they, they was like lowballing me, so I didn't I didn't fuck with it. I let rock star go ahead and do his thing. They wanted you to commentate. They wanted me to come. You think you could have a feature in that? Oh yeah, because I'm gonna get up there. And I'm listen. One thing people know, I'm gonna say what the fuck I want to say. Right. You're not gonna tell me what to say. I say the shit niggas be thinking and don't want to say. I'm gonna say it. We right? were watching that old uh, Drake and Game video the other day. One on it. And that you're in, and I pointed it out to my kid. I go, that's the motherfucker who made those diapers that you've been wearing. <laughs> I don't think that's she understood. You, but... kid up, you should teach your kid the word motherfucker. Well, I probably didn't really say that. Okay, my I'm girl would fucking it. shoot me if I said yeah, that. for real. But, uh, I pointed it out. I'm like, look at that. That's him about 10 years ago. That was. 100. We shot that on Brazil in Wimbledon. That was a great video. Definitely. Uh, we ain't Trader really Truth. seen Drake in the trenches I, since, right? Nah, nah. <laughs> I, I never forget Trader Truth calls me. Whack, where y'all at? What you doing today? Man, we're shooting a video, Drake and Gang. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, well send me the pin drop. Mm. I sent it to him. That nigga pulled up in a taxi by himself. Taxi, bro. Trader Truth pulled up in a taxi by himself, got out. I said, Are you by yourself? He said, They're going with you. And hung out with us all night. Wow, that's gangster. Nah, that's just, you know, that's respectable. I everybody ain't, the truth you know, all everybody ain't doing that kind of shit. Right. By the time. Shout out to Trade the Truth, man. Trade the Truth, um, we brother been positive. He's a guy that I um admire for his crossover um with his community. Um he does a lot for the homeless, the elderly, um, as well as when they got um um those uh hurricanes and tornado tornadoes and floods and all ice right. storm he gets out there hands on knocks on doors checks on families um and uh donate stuff so um shout out to Trey the Truth. I I think Trey actually got an album he might have just dropped. I kind of saw it on Instagram. I don't remember the name, but y'all go to Trey the Truth's uh Spotify 
and uh, just look for his new album, whatever it says, 2023. Y'all download it. I'm pretty sure it's some fire. Trailer Truth is like the reason why I use the calendar app in my phone to keep track of my schedule because I remember I scheduled an interview with him and it was like a couple weeks in advance and then he, he just texts me one day and he's like, hey, I'm here for the interview and I realized that I had just completely spaced it <laughs> and that was when I decided, all right, I got to actually get my life under control here. Um, All right. I got to do a, a thing with Steve-O momentarily. Anything what else that we should have? Uh, Steve-O? You know Steve-O from Jackass? Oh, yeah, White yeah, White dude yeah, who yeah. Uh, gets Yo, kicked um, in the balls. I need some support. Yes, you do. And I'm going to ask you. Well, in what way? I'm going to ask you right here on putting you on blast. Great. I need to incorporate um, my diaper commercial on a no jumper platform. If you could do that for me. Also, um, to the people in St. Louis. Um, I got off the phone with the radio station, the sister by the name of Princess. Um, I'm doing, I'm sending over 200 box, 80 count boxes. Uh, we're going to do giveaways off the radio station for the diaper bank for the whole September. I'm going to have, um, for the parents that do uh, sends in reaction videos of how the diaper worked for them, how great it was. You send them back in. We're going to be giving away gas cards. We're going to be giving away, uh, 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 cars you can go shopping at your local um grocery stores and hell you know what for that willy walker box that magical box i might even give away a couple thousand you can send me back that goddamn receipt we might just do a raffle on that but we come to st louis incredible diapers i'm taking over the billboards we're taking over the radio morning midday and late night show um maybe you get sexy coming. red She's a St. Louis she, icon. Uh, she can rock your diapers. Rig. Yeah. She from, she from St. Louis? Yeah. Yeah, I like sexy she's rig. She's blood, keep, too. Keep doing what she's doing. I like what she's doing. Yeah. She, I, I like how have she her took the diapers. something that had nothing to do with music. No. Mm -hmm. Right? SD, STDs. Mm. Right? Cross-marketed it to her name and picked up extra fan base. Man, you hear that broad talking about she had STDs? What broad? Sexy red. Who was that? It's rapper chick. What rapper chick? Yeah, she got the song such and such. That was ingenious. You up and coming artists who too gangster and pay attention. Mm -hmm. Look what Sexy Red did. This shit is 70% gimmick, 30% music. Give me a non rapping motherfucker that know how to market they self over a rapping motherfucker that's too cool to market they self, mm -hmm. too cool to TikTok, too cool to tap in with their ultra ego, right? I don't trust anybody who's shit. never had an STD. Huh? If you want to be mean? cool with me, you gotta got burnt at least a couple times. That's, that's right though. You gotta have some. You gotta have some gimmicks. Some man. life experience. Everybody right? like to laugh. You don't got too many people like to cry. That's mm -hmm. real. Put that comedy in it. Put that humor in it. You gonna win, man. Yeah, and I've been burnt many times. So a gang of times. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know what it's like to take a yeah, piss you and you can feel little chunks of pulp coming out of your dick. Oh no, I don't know nothing. Like about orange that. juice, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I'd have been in the penitentiary. <laughs> I told Sexy Red next time she gets burned, I want her to come over and give me some of it. Let's facilitate this so transfer. You addicted to the, yeah, I want. I, I, I the keep film. chasing that feeling. Just burn me, baby. So, do you intentionally <laughs> go hit your wife? She doesn't have an STD, but if she did, yeah, she had STDs before. You told of me. Of course, we had them together. Yeah, nigga had them together. Last week, me and my woman, we had. STD together. You want to know what happened last night? <laughs> what? She goes to this uh, this this party with her friends, right? I decided to stay home. I was tired. She runs into some dude who's wearing a shirt with a picture of her getting banged out on the shirt at the party. Just coincidentally runs into him. So did she feel some kind of way? I mean, she thought it was funny. Okay. Yo, Adam. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Free promotion. Yo, Adam, Free promotion. for real. Yeah. Seven figures, a high six figures. For what? That situation brought for you. I know you cleaned up. Seven for sure. He cleaned up. Yeah, it was a good Pimping, week. big pimping, man. That's, that's legalized, honorable, respectable pimping internally. New school. I couldn't have did it. Yeah. But I'm going to spend it all on diapers. No, you are. I'm going to give you that for free. Woo! All right. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Compton Rick Rock. Thank you, Wack 100, for showing up. Go ahead. Damn.
for oh, yeah. real for that. He yeah. got some lotion in his hands. That's I, know. That's, that's the, I respect know. anybody. I'm going to do something, man. Shout out to uh, my, my team, man. Papa Z Films, Deeply Rooted. All the Bloods, all the Crips, all the Power Rules, all the Nutty Blocks, man. Content Red Rock TV. Love, Wes. Much love. Adam and Wax Show. Smash the like button. We out.